All right, guys, I don't know what's going on. The smart board's not recognizing my computer, so I can't write on it. So what I have is the PDF right here, and that will be, uh, I'm just gonna walk you through the logic. So right now you should already have a copy of the problems. You're gonna have uh, the posted answer key with all my work. And now I'm just gonna go through and just explain uh, the thought process. So just in case my work left some gaps and you're not quite sure what I was saying, uh, hopefully this will kind of go through and just explain everything. So I do apologize. Uh, I'm in school so you can have a better quality video and uh, school's not working for me. Uh, I will be moving to 409 later on. So hopefully that smart board won't give me the issues that this one is. And that can be whoever's in here's problem. Uh, okay, so the three problems I wanted you to do were numbers one, two, and three. And number one was that open topped box. Uh, so you wanted to optimize the volume. So that was length times width times height. And so I knew that one of the measurements would be 16 minus 2x. The other one was 10 minus 2x. And then the third one was the height. That would have been a height of x. So I went through and I distributed these two binomials together. Then I distributed the x to each of those three terms, which gave me this cubic trinomial. And then I derived it, set it equal to zero, reduced it, factored it, got my answer of x equals two. The next one was a type of problem that we hadn't done before, uh, but what we wanted to do is optimize the distance from point A to point B. We knew that point B was at the coordinate point of six comma zero, what we didn't know was the point of point A, which would have been where it touches the uh, coordinate point. So I made the one that touches the square root of X as my X sub one, Y sub one, but it won't really matter because once we square it, the negatives will go away anyway. So uh, you can switch them up if you'd like. Uh, I don't even know if the X value is before or after at this point. I just pretended that it was before, but it's just a picture, so it doesn't really matter. So I said that at point X, and it touches the curve at uh, whatever the function would be evaluated when I plug in an X value. In this case, the square root of X would be the output when plugging in X. So I was able to conclude that my X sub one, Y sub one was at X comma root X, and my X sub two, Y sub two was at six, zero. So I plugged it into the distance formula here, and then, uh, so this was six minus X. I squared that to get this quadratic. This was the square root of X minus zero, squared that to get just X. And then I simplified. Now from here, I took the derivative. So I made this an exponent of one half. I brought the one half down, subtracted one. Remember the chain rule, because we have a function embedded inside of another function. And then I went ahead and I distributed the one half to this binomial here. So I dealt with X minus 11 halves. The reason why I did that is uh, because I wanted to. And I knew that uh, I would have, and I actually am realizing I forgot to write the square root in my answer key. So I do apologize for that. Uh, but I didn't really care because I knew that once I multiplied this denominator, to both sides, it would cancel out on the left and multiply by zero on the right, thus getting rid of it. So I was only left with X equals 11 halves, and I plugged 11 halves back into my output, which was the square root of X. So that gave me the square root of 11 halves. Calculus is kind of finicky. Sometimes it rationalizes the denominator, sometimes it doesn't. So the answer key that's posted they decided to rationalize that denominator. So they multiplied by the square root of 11 over the square root of 11. And that's what gave me the square root of 22 over two. So either answer would be fine. Uh, it alternates back and forth between you should rationalize and you shouldn't. So I don't really care either way. Uh, and then the coordinate point would be 11 halves and the square root of 11 halves. Now going back to the context of the problem, this X value is way to the left. And in reality, it appears to be at five and a half. So the shortest distance from the point six zero to the curve of the square root of X would be found at five and a half on the X axis and the square root of 22 over two on the Y. And the last one, we had done one of these in class. Uh, I drew my picture. I used the Pythagorean theorem to find what L sub one and L sub two would equal. Uh, so that was X squared plus 100 squared equaled L sub one squared and then square root of both sides. Same logic over here, that was 60 minus X squared plus 15 squared 
equals L2 squared and then square rooted both sides. What I was trying to optimize was the sum of L sub one plus L sub two. And so I wrote out my equation, let it be equal to that. And then my next step was to take the derivative. Uh, so again, this has an exponent of one half. So I brought the one half down, subtracted one, remembered the chain rule. And then here, one half subtracted one, remembered the chain rule. And then I just wrote L sub one plus L sub two prime to indicate that it was the derivative. I rewrote it to reduce the chain rule uh, multiplier with the one half in both situations. And I set it equal to zero so that we can optimize. I then subtracted one of the quantities to the other side. I subtracted the X minus 60. And then from here, I was able to cross multiply because we have a proportion. And then once I was at this step, I squared both sides. So I had X squared times this quantity and then X squared minus 120 X plus 3,600 times this quantity. Then I went through and I distributed. Uh, so once I distributed, you should notice that some of your terms cancel out. And then you get this 125 X squared plus 12,000 X minus 360,000. Set that equal to zero. Uh, 125 goes into each term, so I was able to reduce this quadratic. And then at this point, you could either factor it. I just spent a little bit and said, all right, is there anything that would make sense? Uh, or you can plug it into Desmos and see where uh, the function crosses the x-axis. I got the two answers to being negative 120 and 24. Wouldn't make sense to have a negative distance, so I can conclude that x is 24. So what does that mean? Well, X was the distance from the shorter pole and 60 minus X would have given me the distance from the longer pole. So the two answers you could say is as 24 feet from the shortest pole or 36 feet from the longest pole. I'm just gonna take a look at the problem just one more time. Uh, it does just say where should it be placed. So it didn't specifically say that it had to be from the shortest or the longest. So either answer would work. Uh, now, the problems I'd like you to do for homework are problems three, four, I'm sorry, four, five, and six. I rank those from easy, medium, hard. Uh, so that's the only thing I'm looking for you to submit. So if you look through this classwork and it seemed like you understood what was going on and you felt comfortable, I don't need to see your work. I'll be in Zoom so you can come in and ask me any questions that you'd like. Uh, but it's the last three problems I'm looking for the answers. Uh, if you keep scrolling down the PDF, you'll have a copy of the answers. So it doesn't have any of my work. So especially with the homework, if you got an answer and you want to check to see if it's right, you can at least go through and confirm whether you are right or not. And then if you are incorrect, you'll at least know that you should look for your, uh, your error or I will obviously know to look as well. Uh, so hopefully this video works out for you guys. Sorry about the smart board. It's stupid and I don't know why it's doing that. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Uh, we, depending on how you guys do with this, we may either continue with optimization or maybe step away and go to related rates. I uh, hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving break. You're well rested and I will talk to you guys later.